TAVR is one of the great advances in the last 10 years in interventional cardiology. Now we're taking a look at a variety of things from this meeting uh, on bleeding complications, SAVR versus TAVR. And in this case, we're talking about a publication in JAK. And I'm with Dr. Philippe Jenneru, who is director of the Angiographic Core Lab at the Cardiovascular Research Foundation, CRF, and an interventional uh, cardiologist in Montreal. Okay, this is an analysis from Partner. Yeah, exactly. So what uh, was the aim of this uh, sub-analysis? So we took all the patient porn from the, the study Partner 1A, which actually was comparing iris patient, uh, surgery versus TAVR, either t uh, transfemoral or transapical. And the aim of this, the goal of this study was really to compare first the incidence of bleeding, but also their differential impact on mortality. So uh, it was very shocking to see actually that in the current literature before our study, there were really a lack of data on bleeding and, and surgery. Uh, actually, only one study in circulation was published years ago, uh, but otherwise no real good study summarizing the problem of bleeding and surgery uh, for aortic uh, stenosis. So what we want to show actually was, it was to compare the rate of bleeding surgery versus TAVI uh, and to see the impact for mortality. Uh, and actually we found a very interesting uh, finding because uh, from partner one, everybody, of course, we, we showed that TAVR was equivalent to SAVR. Uh, and, and I think TAVR always had, uh, people think about a lot of vascular complication, um, but one of the understatement of the trial is to compare the bleeding. And what, what the main finding of, the, of this analysis was that the bleeding complication was actually two times, almost three times more more frequent with surgery compared to TAVI. So we, we said about 10%, around 9 to 10% with TAVI and more than 20, 25% with surgery. And we talk about major bleeding, uh, more than three transfusion and, and leading to, to death or, or very significant clinically bleeding. And for me, the most uh, striking finding actually is when you look at the bleeding among surgery, the mean amount of transfusion was seven transfusion for surgery compared to three uh, for, for TAVI. So clearly underlying that when you bleed with surgery, this is not trivial, this is massive bleeding where you have to go back to re-explore the chest, go back to the OR, uh, compared to TAVI where most of the time is related to the access and you can manage by manual compression or balloon inflation, uh, that will be easy to solve. Uh, and and Consequently, that's, that's linked to the second finding that the bleeding, when you bleed in surgery, it is strongly related to death. So you have, you know, when you, among the bleeder at one year, you have 40, 45% chance to be dead. Compared to, to TAVR, when you bleed in TAVR, there's no difference in mortality. And that was very striking, actually, because we will think if you bleed with, with TAVR, well, you will die more. The thing is, in partner one, we probably learn from partner one B, and we probably better to uh, manage this, this, this bleeding that were less important. So clearly there were an interaction between the site, the, the type of, of surgery or procedure, and the impact of bleeding on mortality. And, and the main finding was really that when you bleed with surgery, you die more, and when you bleed with TAVR, we can manage it and you die less. How about the comparison between femoral and radial? Yeah, and transepical. So that's so that's a very good uh, that's a very good point actually. Um, we we didn't see difference between bleeding between transfemoral axis and transapical axis. So they were about the same 10% bleeding, uh, and we, it's it's fascinating because we will have expect more bleeding from the transapical than the transfemoral. Actually, it was numerically less, uh, but not significant than transfemoral. Uh, probably because you have a better control. I mean, you will never close the chest when you have a massive bleeding from transepical. You see the bleeder, you, you fix the bleeders, and the, so, so you, when you close actually the chest, you have, uh, you have less bleeding uh, subsequently. So uh, both together, TF approach and TA approach has by, by far half less bleeding than surgery, and uh, that was an interesting finding, actually. So if bleeding is an issue, then for heaven's sakes, TAVR is a, a real good option. So that's a very good point. So when you have a patient at risk of bleeding, definitely I think TAVI uh, will be a better option. And one of the predictors of major bleeding actually was a woman. And we know that women probably do better with TAVI because they are more prone to bleed, they are more fragile, so they will do better with less invasive 
uh, less invasive procedure. So I, I think the message is less invasive procedure are probably good for multiple reasons, but mainly because of decreased bleeding with a TAVR compared to SAVR. And actually David Cohen performed an amazing uh, sub-study of this and showing that from a cost-effective point, uh, point of view, the complication that costs the most money is bleeding. So if you want to save money, Oh, well, if you need to save money, you're going to save bleeding. So TAVI probably save money, decrease the length of stay because of the less, less bleeding than surgery. And I think this is a major, uh, major finding. The other major finding is when you put all the complication in a multivariable model, bleeding is the one which is the most associated with mortality, more than PVL. I mean, we, there's a lot of fuss and a lot of I put a power valve leak, which I truly believe is not a real problem right now with the current uh, state of TAVI prosthesis. But clearly, bleeding remains a problem for surgery and clearly lead to death much more than paravalvular leak, which is another important finding. Well, I think it's a great paper. This is uh, Genero and colleagues. Please take a look at the uh, paper in Jack. You'll find the citation at the very end of this. For Cardiosaurus World News, I'm Rick McGuire.